sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with the next two games in the White Sox 2020 season using the Stratomatic Game Engine and with estimated statistics or estimated cards for players who haven't played um, or for what players would probably have done in 2020. Um, I have skipped over two games, though, because the two games that uh, would have been next would have been against the Tigers again. And I know you probably have Tiger fatigue from watching, the ti watching us play the Tigers. So I quick played those games offline, and uh, we won both games, surprisingly. Not really. Um, so we won both of those games, and now we are playing Tampa Bay is the next team in line that we will play. So let's get on with that. And we will be playing, I'm uh, sure, on the road against Tampa Bay. <clears throat> let's see. No, we're at home. All right, nice. We're back at home again. So uh, that that road... Um, swing that we were on wasn't nearly as long as the home streak so we're back at home playing against tampa bay and let me get the sound got the sound and we do have Kopech going up i'm going to pitch him and of course we have to change back again because now we're at home um, and yeah, that lineup looks good to me. Yeah, looks fine. Huh? So here we go. And they've got the Meadows coming up against Kopech. And that's going to be a fly ball by B for Austin Meadows. And Brandon Lowe, this guy, man, is... I don't know where he came from, but he was just great. And then uh, G-Man Choi and G-Man Choi grounds out. And that's going to be it for Tampa Bay. One, two, three, they go down. And we we send up Lewis Robert. And by the way, Tim Anderson is injured, I think, only for three more games now. So we only have to get through three more games without him. Although Tampa Bay is one of the better teams in the league. So... It'll be tough. But, you know, like I said, we swept the Tigers in four the last time. So, And Louis Garcia is going to miss the single there. So now we've got two down in the first. And Moncada up. And I will swing away. And he is going to miss the home run. He won't get a home run. It's a fly ball. Oh, boy. All right. So we're back in the field. And we're pitching to Willie Adams. I just like to call him Adams. I know it's really Adams, but yeah, Adams is better for me. Wendell, Joey Wendell, who went to Westchester University. And um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, we're going to hold the ball. Wendell is just going to swipe the bag on us. And we've got... Whoa! All right, now I'm going to throw for him. No, we don't get him. Wendell steals two bases on us. That's crazy bad. But we strike out Brousseau, whoever he is. And uh, now Kiermaier. Kevin Kiermaier is up with... Uh, yeah, he's going to fly out. And all those stolen bases by Wendell got him nothing. Got him a big zero. So now we've got... And, Yes, file that away, Tom Bunch. So we've got Encarnacion, and he'll swing away. Ground ball, third base, X. And uh, Wendell is a good fielder over there, so he's out. Abreu is up. Double one to nine. Fine. We get a little something, a little bit of life shown by Abreu. Grandall up. Grandall strikes out. And that brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez? No, he's going to fly out. Man. So 
So we got Zanino up. We have a great quote, too, from a friend of mine who has Zanino in one of his Stratomatic leagues. It says, in, in the preseason, the guy will hit 330 with nine home runs. But then once the, once you flip the switch and the season starts, he puts his monkey hat on. <laughs> Austin Meadows out again, and I think they go one, two, three again. So we are just, uh, I mean, Kopech is taking care of business on the pitching side. Home run one to ten, and that's gone for Mazzara. Mazzara home run. Forget it, it's gone, says the announcer, and he's right. And Madrigal is up, and Madrigal is going to hit the ball to second, and that's low. And uh, he's out, and that brings up Lewis Robert with only one out. And that's a single one to 17, and he just barely gets it. Oh, and Glasnow is a plus nine hold, so we are going to try to steal second. You can bet on that. Uh, 75, I'm still going to try it. Oh, come on. He gets thrown out. All right, so Lurie Garcia up, and he flies out. So I guess we probably going anyway. That's nice though that Glasnow is a plus nine hold. Nice to know. I could steal on him. Except really the fastest guy on our team couldn't. Brandon Lowe is up and he's going to ground to first for the first out of the top of the fourth inning. G-Man Choi is up and he's going to ground out. And Willie Adams. Hits the ball to short, and that's Garcia today, filling in for the injured um, Anderson. And he allows Adams to get a board, but we were able to hold him. And then uh, Wendell grounds to first base. So, uh, Johan Montano is up. And he is not. He misses the home run again. It's just in the same exact place. All right. Fly out. We're only winning one nothing. I mean, it's not like, you know, we can depend on that against Tampa Bay. There's a pop out for the second out for Encanarcio. And then that brings up Brave. And he's going to have nothing. So we go to the top of the fifth. We have a one nothing lead with Broussard is up, and he is going to get a single. Broussard. Again, don't really know who that is. Um, Kiermaier up, and he gets lowered to 30%, which is good. But there was a fast ball, so we went to second anyway. And then there's going to be a ground ball B by Kiermaier. Zanino up, and he strikes out, which is good. Very dependable. And Gil Heredia flies out. So we hold him again. As long as Kopech can hold him, I mean, this is great. But, you know, you have to ask how long that can happen. And there's a single, ripping a single for Grandall. So Grandall's aboard, him and his up. Double one to seven, but that's going to be a fly ball. Man, man, we are not getting the breaks. Mazzara, who has our only run of the day, hits into a double play to end the inning. And that brings up Meadows at the top of the next inning, and he's going to strike out. Kopech is just mowing him. He's mowing him like a lawnmower. Ground ball, second base B. And, uh, and really, he needs to because the last outing he had was less than stellar. He walks Choi, and so now Adams is up, and he strikes out. So now we come to the bottom of the sixth, and Madrigal is up. Strikeout. 
Lewis Robert. One out. Let's go. Come on. No, he strikes out. Be nice to get Anderson back. I'll tell you that. Garcia up, and he is going to be out. So we continue to cling to a one nothing lead. I'm really afraid to even take Kopech out. He allows a single to Wendell, though, and now Wendell's going to run rampant down the bases if he can. Well, we lowered him to 65, and now we are going to throw for him. And he still makes it. Ground ball first base A. That moves him to third. So now they brought the infield in for me, and I'm going to say, yeah, let's do that. Ground ball shortstop. Yeah, he either makes the play or he doesn't. He beats the throw. Infield hit. So they tied the game. And that's going to be a pass ball and allow Kiermaier to go to second. Still only one out, but he strikes out Zanino. And now Heredia is up. And Heredia is going to fly out. But Tampa Bay tied the game in the seventh. And uh, Mancot is up. Now we got to have a run. we got to stop fooling around with these guys. That's going to be a line out. And Canarcion is up. And he's out. And Abreu is up. And he hits a single 1-17, to 17, but he doesn't get it. We are getting the worst rolls in the history of man in this game. Meadows is out on the line out. Brandon Lowe walks. Man, and he's 95%, and he gets it. So Choi is up. Choi flies out. So that's two outs. Probably won't advance either. And Willie Adams. And he walks. And don't tell me Kopech's tired. <laughs> they did. I'm still going to pitch to Wendell, though. And that gets a ground ball to see. So he gets out of the inning. So Grandall is up in a tie game at one. We really have to win this game because Tampa Bay is a good team. They're liable to thump us in game two. Jimenez, but this one is winnable. Strikes out. It's winnable if we can start getting the rolls on our side. Mazzara. Catcher card. And he is out. All right. We're going to go to the pen. Um, I'm going to bring in old reliable Osich. There we go. Osich is money. The guy always comes in and does well for us. Kiermaier is up with one out. And he's going to be out. So there's two down quickly. And Zanino is up. And he strikes out. So Osich, yes, just as, uh, as advertised, gets us out of the inning quickly. Madrigal, come on. We got to score. We got to score a run. Lewis Robert, swing away. Strikes out. And Garcia's up. And he strikes out. High powered offense. You can't do anything. Gil Heredia leading off the next inning. Strikes out. Osich gets him on the K's. I'm going to ride Osage as long as I can. That guy is money. Line out for um, Meadows and Brandon Lowe. And he grounds out. Moncada swing away. Ground ball second base X is three. Hope somehow he um, doesn't get him, but he, he does. And Canarcion, come on, home run. Send us home. Triple one to eight. That's going to be a single, though. 
A brave. Come on. Walks. All right, with one out, I'm going to put in pinch runner for Encarnacion because no way I'm going to miss that run. Um, what do we got out here? Got an 11 running, a 10 running, a 10, a 15, and a 12. Uh, if I put Engel in, I mean, he's clearly the best runner, but if I put him in, I'm putting him in at VH, and then I can't switch him to the field. I don't think. Because um, the computer will automatically make him the DH. Which it does not do for positions. If you insert a guy for a position player, he'll ask if you want to change him. Uh, so Zach Collins is the best runner I got. And what's in Canarcion? A 10. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put angle in to pinch run. I mean, that's the only way I'm getting any significant advantage. So Grandall strikes out, and that brings up Jimenez. And they bring in a reliever to face Jimenez, and he gets a single. Are they going to ask me? No. No, the bases are loaded for Mazzara. And uh, he's going to so you see now Engel is the DH, which doesn't do anything for anybody. Uh, Osich, though, is going to stay out there. And he gets a fly ball by the G-Man. Willie Adams flies out. Osich, man, that guy is great. I hope he's just good in real life. And then Wendell. And Wendell is going to be out. So now again, we find ourselves in a situation where if we can just push one run across, Madrigal strikes out, though. Lewis Robert up. She strikes out. Garcia hits a ground ball to second. He's a three. That looks like it might get through. Yep, it did. And Moncada up, and he strikes out. All right, I am going to take Osich out because he's gone the country mile for this year. Um, I'm going to bring in c -Sheck. Probably not the best idea because he's a guy that walks everybody and their brother, but he strikes out Rousseau. Kiermaier, yeah, he walks lefties like it's going out of style. Two away, and Zanino up. And he strikes out, so nice outing by c -Sheck. Again, if we can just push a run across, and here is our mighty DH angle. Going to ground out. Abreu, swing away. All this power, and nobody can even hit it anywhere. Two away, and Grand all up. And he's going to ground out. And I am going to keep C Shack in. Catcher, come on, Grand all. Make the play. Make it out here. No. Well, there's a fly ball by Meadows. We'll see if Heredia advances on it. He doesn't. Brandon Lowe walks, of course. See, she has no control against lefties. Uh, this is it. I mean, he just doubled, so... No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 We're going to win the game. Yeah. See, check is tired, but I don't care. There's a line out.
and Wendell up. And he's going to line out Max and be injured, which might help us. He stays in the game, though. But they did score a run, so now we have to score a run just to tie. Not that that's impossible, but the way we've been playing, it pretty much is. Fly ball to Brousseau, though, should drop. And it does. So Jimenez is aboard. Mazzara up. Chaz Rowe is being relieved by Drake, Oliver Drake. Ground ball to third base, that's Wendell, and he's a two. And, well, they only got one out, so Madrigal up. And Madrigal might hit a home run, but they might rob it. Well, if it's Kiermaier, he might rob him. Let's see what happens. Can't get it. Home run, we won. Holy Say what? Yes. Yes. Finally. All right, we win it 3-2, and c -Sheck gets the undeserved win, and that's going to be that. And now for this game, before we go into this game, I am going to team promote demote. I am going to send Osic down for this game because he just pitched three innings and would be practically useless. And we're going to bring up... Uh, Jimmy Cordero, who hasn't pitched at all for us this year. So we're going to go into game two. And uh, we're going to play day. And we've got Geo going up, and I'm, I'm cool with that. So, yeah, let's play ball. And it's a nice day game, too. Fly ball for Meadows. See, now, now, as far as I'm concerned, we're playing with house money because we swept the Tigers and we won the first game against a very good Tampa Bay team. So if we lose this game, you know, not the end of the world. Yandy Diaz is up and he strikes out. There now, he hits a ground ball. Oh, I guess he was swinging away on a whatever, on a shift, maybe. But there's a triple one that's going to knock in the run. Single double asterisk by Renfro. Well, no, maybe not, but we're not going to throw. We're going to stop Renfro at first. And that brings up Jose Martinez, and he'll hit a ground ball out. So Tampa Bay does strike for a run in the first, and we got Robert up. And he's going to hit a single. There's a plus seven in Snell. So, yeah, we're definitely going to try to steal. And I'm still going to try it at 75. And he made it. All right, good. Mendick up and Mendick with a pop out. And that brings up Moncada. And Moncada strikes out. Yeah, especially against Snell. So, um, ground ball shortstop from Canarcion, and that's a Dan's. And he makes the out. So, <coughs> Nate Low is up. This is the different Low. This is not Brandon Low. This is not the good Low. He's out, and Kiermaier's up. And he grounds out. So there is two down. And Willie Adams is going to be out on the line now. So Abreu up. He'll swing away. Strikes out. See why I said we had to win game one. It was a winnable game that we had to win. And because now... We may be outplayed in this game. Outpitched and outplayed. Two down, Jimenez up. And he strikes out. See, if you wanted a homer announcer, you don't get that with me. I was not a big... Um, Kevin Smith, walking. I was not a, a big Hawk Harrelson fan. Because the guy was too homer for me. Just too much. 
too over the top. I mean, I want somebody, I want an announcer that's going to, you know, give the credit where the credit's due. Not just that it was a bad day or the team just was playing particularly bad, you know, or whatever. So Brandon Lowe, the good Lowe, hit a ground ball B equivalent. And so now there's two outs with Yandy Diaz up and he's going to fly out to right. Well, he's going to fly to right and Zara has to get the ball. So he did. And no, it falls in and now they have runners at the corners with Renfro up. But he hits a ground ball out and we're out of the inning. So Gonzalez is not pitching terribly. I mean, three innings, one earned run to the Tampa Bay Rays. You would take that any time. But you got Mazzara getting out. Snell, or um, Garcia, batting against Snell. Out, and now Lewis Robert. And he grounds out. So Jose Martinez is up against the crafty lefty Gio Gonzalez, and he gets him out. Nate Low, the bad low is up. I don't want to say he's really the bad low. I shouldn't say that, but he's not as good as Brandon Low or whatever that other guy is. That's going to be a single one for Kiermaier, and he gets it. Crazy. Willie Adams with two down, and there's a strikeout. So Danny Mendick is up, and he's going to fly out. Again, we're not getting the rolls. But we're on a five-game winning streak, so I'll take it. Moncada strikes out. And Encarnacion swimming away. Double one to ten, and he gets the double. Nice, he gets the whole full Monty on that. Uh, no, we're not going to try to stretch it to a triple. And Abreu is up at the plate, and he hits a ground ball to third, and that's Yandy, who's a four. And it gets away, so that's a score. We tie the game. And Abreu is at second, and then there's a line out, Max for Grand Ball. Thanks for so Kevin Smith will lead off for Tampa Bay, and he's going to ground out. Uh, Meadows is up, and he is going to miss a home run, maybe. Depends, I think. Can't get it. It's a home run. So a walk for Brandon Lowe. So Tampa Bay takes a 2-1 lead. Yandy Diaz up. He strikes out, so there's two out here in the fifth inning for Tampa Bay. And Renfro up, and he's going to hit a ground ball out. So they're out of the inning, but they got a run on a home run that was just barely a home run. And so Jimenez is up at the plate, and he strikes out. Mazzara's up. And uh, is that? No. No, no single there, and Garcia is up at the plate, and he's going to fly out. So we go to the top of the sixth. Jose Martinez batting against um, Gio, and it's good that Gio was able to give us this kind of uh, effort. There was uh, an error on the play or something. I don't know. But Lowe is up with Martinez aboard and Lowe walks. And now Gio is tired, yeah. You know what? I'll bring in relief right now. It's kind of uncharacteristic of me to do that. But I will do it. And we'll bring in Marshall. Because we do have a fresh arm in the bullpen. So we'll bring in Evan Marshall. And he strikes out Kiermaier. I mean, Gio gave us the old college effort. I couldn't ask any better from Gio. Fly ball left. That's Jimenez. He's going to probably play it into a triple or something. And uh, so they score on that. 
ground ball, second to base. He was one out. The infield was in, though, and Mendico hold him and make the out. And then there's a walk to Meadows. So they have runners at the corners, and they are now leading 4-1. to one. With Brandon Lowe up, and he'll hit a ground ball out. But now we're down by three. Lewis Robert will swing away, and he strikes out. Mendick is up, and he'll hit a ground ball to short. Oh, there's an error. Adams made an error, uncharacteristically. And is up, but he strikes out, and we're not going to capitalize on it, apparently. And that brings up Encarnacion, and yes, we will. Home run by Encarnacion, and so now it's 4-3. All right, all right. And now Abreu, if you could just hit a home run here, dude, it would be nice. And maybe he did, or at least a double. Looks like maybe a double. And now Grandall is up with um, him at second, but he strikes out. So we fall a little short there. But now we're back within a run. And then Marshall walks Diaz off the top of the seventh. And he's tired. So I'll go get him because we're in this game. So I'm going to play this game as if we could win it. I'll bring in Herrera. And uh, I don't know what happened there. I guess he was picked off. But then Renfro hits a home run. Now they're back ahead by two. Right? It's two, three, four, five to three. Yeah, five to three. They're ahead by two now. Fly ball. So there's two out. And that brings up Nate Lowe, and he's going to be out. So now we go to the bottom of the seventh. We're down by two. We have got to start putting some hits together. Strikeout for Jimenez. And we got to get to Snell and get him out of the game. That's going to be an out for Mazzara. And up steps Garcia, and he is out. And Snell is finally tired, so they'll take him out. Um, Herrera pitching to Kiermaier. Gets him out. Willie Adams strikes out. And Kevin Smith is going to hit a single. So with Kevin Smith aboard, they got Meadows up the plate. And that's going to be a ground fly, or a fly. Well, it was listed as a fly ball, but anyway. Lewis Robert, bottom of the eighth. We're down by two. We have got to have base runners. Pagan is on to pitch. That's a strikeout. Mendick is up. Mendick strikes out. And that brings up Moncada. And he strikes out. So we're going to take out Herrera because he already pitched two, and that's pretty much Herrera territory. We're going to bring in Fry to pitch, especially against the lefty. And he strikes out low. Andy Diaz up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to third. That's Moncada. And he's out, and that brings up Renfro. And Renfro's going to walk. That brings up Jose Martinez, and he hits a ground ball to Mac. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. We got to have two to tie. 
Encarnacion up at the plate, and he's out. Pagan still pitching. Abreu up. He's two for three this game. And he is three for four, and he hits a triple. I mean, we still need more than a run, so uh, I'm going to say no. Grandall up. Fly ball right. If that can get by Meadows, we're in business. Nope. He grabs it. So now we're down by a run, and Jimenez basically has to hit a home run. But he doesn't. So we lost by a run in game two. And I was managing my butt off. So that's, I mean, we just weren't going to win that game. The Rays are 15 and 13. We're 19 and 11. But that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing out.